Well, hello, YouTube. This is Baylor Mage again, and it is that time. It is that time where we have to go over loot filters. Uh, anybody who's been following me for a while knows full well I already maintain three loot filters, uh, three strictnesses of loot filters exclusively for softcore trade that are change over time with the softcore trade economy. So to start with, if you don't already have a good loot filter, you should find one. These are very important. And if you go to the link in the description, you will get this page. If you're logged in, there will be some follow buttons here. And if you follow them, you'll never have to update them again. They will just be automatically followed and automatically synced every single time I upgrade them. When we start new league, they'll always be up to date. They'll update several times over the course of the league as the economy changes, all of that stuff. So I'm just throwing that one out there to begin with. But the important part to me is what we've done. What we did last league was mostly testing, which is modules. We did a whole bunch of modules and separated my own filters into a whole bunch of different modules. So this means now you can take any individual part of my filter that you like, apply it to your own filter with your own color scheme and your own sounds the way you like it, and then if I make a change, it will still automatically sync to your filter next time you update it because my module is involved. So right here, this is just a standard filter. I haven't loaded up one of my filters at all, right? We'll go, we'll go up to strict just because it looks decent, right? This is just a, when you load up filter blade, you just get that, right? So here I can show you how this works. If I apply just my color scheme, it sets everything. And then when we go over and look at the overview, bam, there's all my color schemes. All of my color scheme things change. If you don't like my color scheme, you just don't load that part of it, right? This is the one that I think is gonna be the most important. So we'll get to it last. This is my leveling rules. Uh, but I also have div card presets unique presets, rare item tiering, and no crafting bases. So no crafting bases is literally just a module I built to turn off all crafting bases because I get sick of seeing them after day one. So I just like apply that instead of having to go and manually turn them off all the time. I just turn off all crafting bases with this rule and that works great. Um, these ones all get reset by me before the league starts. So it doesn't have any additional tiering to changing the tiers of div cards or uniques or anything other than what NeverSync already provides to begin with. The important part is if I notice something that I think is off or something that there's like a weird bit where like, oh, but these divination cards, even though they're only one C each and you only need to pick up six of them, uh, they're actually, the item itself is worth like 30 chaos. So these cards should be more valued than they are stuff like that happens a lot i always i will change those in the div card preset and it'll just be one move card from this tier to this tier and that'll be it so if you apply these to your filter whenever i notice something like that again softcore trade only whenever i notice something like that and i put it in my filters you will get that filter change even if you don't use my filters same thing for rare items uniques etc the biggest one is going to be leveling rules. These are my favorite generic set of leveling rules. I have worked very, 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 very hard on them. If you do not have a specifically built leveling filter, let me show you what it does. If we hit apply, and it will take me a second to remember where it is because I haven't had to change it in a while. Uh, customize, customize, customize. It's down here. There are 103 rules. So it is a leveling generic thing so for instance a three linked blue heavy item so two blues plus any third link up to area level 23 shows as a blue triangle and then disappears after that at, at level 24 disappears you don't see the three links anymore you'll never see them for the rest of it no sound but it's got a nice blue beam and a, a blue triangle then if it's a rare 
it gets a giant white background so that you can be like oh that's already a rare item that's three linked then if we move up to up to area level 50 it'll be a square and a four link this will be a blue heavy four link right and then again up to area level 50 if it's a rare it'll get a giant white background then that rule exists for anything red heavy so if your build is red red something right same things we go through all of the colors so you get all of the highlighting so you know for sure the three link back there oh that's three green i've started a witch i don't need three green i don't turn around you go oh there's a blue triangle behind me and i need links i'm going to turn around and grab those and then we have what i can only call ambiguous color links so something that isn't very heavy in one direction if it's red red blue green or green green blue red or whatever like as a four link it becomes this gray square right and uh we do have these ones which are just if it's a rare three white it'll show up like this because it's pretty special and i think the white ones especially while leveling incredibly good so that's just the leveling section and the beautiful part is even if you don't want to follow my filters you can just apply that module so then we get the question Baylor, how do i apply modules so let's load up a brand new filter i just refreshed it okay here we are brand new filter you could also just preload your filter right this is great right here is a button that says presets so we type in presets right here and we can go public and we can search by author and look for Veil Mage. And sometimes this search takes a minute. Sometimes it's very, very quick. Sometimes it takes as long as a minute. So if it's longer than this explanation, oh, there we go. I was going to say we'll cut it out, but there it is. There are all of the different presets that I build. So you can very easily just be like, oh, I want those leveling rules. And I trust Baylor to re-tier my div cards and I want to turn off my crafting bases. But otherwise, I want to keep my own leveling filter or my own like filter presets and colors and sounds and everything like that. So basically, my entire filter has been broken down. If you really want to be picky about which parts of it you like and which parts of it you don't like, you can add these sections to your own filter and have it only make those individual changes as I update them. Or you can just follow the whole package and then you're stuck with my with the default sounds and the colors that I've chosen and, and etc. So up to you, but very worth having. Absolutely need it. And also, if there's somebody else's leveling filters or or tiering of items or such that you really like, but you can't stand using other people's filter. I would also encourage you to encourage other content creators to also separate their filters into little modules. Once it's done, it's easier for me to maintain. It was way more work to begin with, but it's easier for me to maintain now and way better for the viewer to be able to pick which parts of my filters they like and just import them and just be like, oh, I only want to use this and this bit. And great, fantastic. So yeah, there's that. I hope everybody's as excited as I am and I will see you next time. Goodbye.